One of the things that's really critical for teens is how they look. When they're going to school, they want to fit in. They want to be wearing things that other people are wearing. I wish every community member could walk through these doors to see what we offer here. This is the closet in Boise. It may look just like a teen retail shop, but really it is so much more. It's a nonprofit organization that provides free clothing to Ada County teenagers in need. The closet got a big and very unexpected donation recently that we have to celebrate. Here's Maggie O'Mara with tonight's Sevens Hero. I started the closet in 2010 with just a need to give back to our community. I felt that teens were kind of a forgotten population. We don't really pour into teens like we do the younger kids. This is Kelly McMurray, the founder and the heart and soul of The Closet. Teenagers in need come in and get a private one hour shopping appointment with Kelly or one of her volunteers. That gives us the opportunity to pour into these teens, just kind of give them love, self-confidence, um, some compliments on what they're trying on. They get to pick out things they like and leave with a whole big bag of uh, clothing items of their choice. The racks are filled with the latest trends and clothes you'll find at any mall. Kelly gave us a tour. Once they get shopping in the room and they start to see those name brands that other kids are wearing and things that they wanna wear, they start to loosen up. They start to feel like this is a safe place to be and it doesn't take but probably 10 minutes of being in this room and see our inventory to say, okay, this place is cool. All of these clothes and accessories are donated. We offer seriously amazing stuff. Our community is amazing in what they provide to us. Nike is a supporter to me, so every teen gets a new pair of Nikes. That's kind of, that kind of seals the deal right there. The teenagers who come to the closet sign this wall before they go, something that means so much to Kelly. You made me cry with how loving and giving you ladies were. Wow, feels like a dream. Thank you times a million. That is just beautiful, Kelly. The closet accepts cash donations too. And there's one that really stands out this year. That's where Sarah Wells comes into this story. Sarah, yes, um, this is so crazy how that haul came about. Sarah is a food blogger and an Instagram influencer who lives right here in our community. Most of my platform is focused around food, but it encompasses family and garden and community and all kinds of things like that. She has over 50,000 followers. We come together for things and causes and um, there's a lot of discussion and conversation and um, it's just a great community that's grown over the years. Sarah contacted me by phone and said that she had a group of girls that had done a clothing donation. They had collected some of their own clothes and they wanted to deliver them to me in person. She brought the girls from her church group over and they were blown away by the closet. They loved it. They thought it was so amazing and they were so inspired by the work that Kelly was doing. Hey guys. Sarah was just as impressed. She decided to try to raise some money for Kelly with help from her Instagram followers. So she shared what the closet was all about. I put a screenshot of my Venmo account. I said, I'd love to just like give Kelly a little gift. And if you were inspired by her story like I was, and if you'd like to help um, make some magic for more teens in our community, um, you know, just shoot a couple dollars my way, even if it was just a little bit. And people did just, and the amazing thing is, it's not just people here in the Treasure Valley. My followers come from all over the country and people just opened up their hearts. In 24 hours time, donations continued to roll in. Sarah could not believe it when she added it all up. It was $20,000. I was so excited. So she came here, and I am not kidding you, with just so casually, she walks in, I open the envelope, and I initially, I looked at the dollar amount and I saw 200, um, because I saw two and a bunch of zeros. And so I thought it was 200 and that was a huge blessing to me. And I was so excited. And then I looked at the written amount and I saw 20,000. And I looked up at her, she's just standing there beaming at me. I go, Sarah, this says $20,000. She said, it does. I said, no, it doesn't. She goes, yes, it does. I go, no, it doesn't. I was so overwhelmed. I have never received a check that large. She was speechless. She just kept saying, is this, is this real? Do you know this is $20,000? I'm like, I know. <laughs> and how beautiful to think that she has followers that all chipped in and, and within hours, 24 hours or so, she came up with $20,000. That's a big deal. 
Sarah wrote the name of each Instagram donor on this card, and it now hangs proudly in the shop. What an amazing thing you can accomplish when a lot of people come together, even with a small thing, it really turns into something big. It just opened up the doors to a lot of things that can, that can be now possible for us. Seven's hero. $20,000, pretty incredible in just a matter of hours. Teenagers in Ada County are referred to the closet in several ways by their school counselors, juvenile corrections, homeless shelters, foster care agencies, and more. Walk-ins are also accepted on a case-by-case -case basis. For more information on the closet and how you can be a part of this wonderful nonprofit, just go to this story online right now at KTVB.com.